Righto, this is how you install TeamViewer. Now what you'll do is you'll go start computer. It'll be on your drive, so make sure you've got your little thumb drive plugged in. Open that up, find that file. So I've got mine here. That's what it looks like. Right, double click. This might come up or something similar. Just click run. Okay, so once you open it up, okay, so you want to, um, when this screen comes up, click this middle one, install to control this computer later from remote. Okay, you can do run only, but we might as well chuck it on there so I can use it if I need to. You want to go personal, non commercial, um, so just click accept. This screen might come up asking if you want to allow the computer to allow the program to make changes. Just say yes. Let it go while it installs, etc. Oh, here we go. So we are. It's extracting the file, so that's what takes a while. Check out what's possible with yeah. TeamViewer. It's just letting you know what you can do. Rada, rada, rada. That actually explains it to you. So that's your ID, which is what you're going to need to give me. Uh, so that's right. Set up unattended access. You won't need that. Because it's a laptop, so it's not always on. Anyway, you automatically signed into TeamViewer account. Da 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 da. All right. Okay, so that happened. Yeah, okay, you won't have to worry about the partner thing. What you'll have to do is give me your partner ID. Um, and you'll. Oh, sorry. You have to give me this ID here, and that password. But they'll change every time. Um, I've got a personal password there, so I can access it from anywhere I want, pretty much. My phone, etc. And that's pretty much it. Uh, when you finish with it, you can just click that there. It'll go down to here. And then that's fine. If you ever wanted to get rid of it, you know, you can um, exit there, and that's pretty much it. Hope you found that easy.